Hi, it is time to do the storage guide for BDO. First of all, they added a quest line called Magnus. I think last year, so it's not a recent quest. And considering that, you have to rework your entire node management based on that, because you can actually transport from town to town resources. As you can see, I'm tra transporting paprika from Calpium to Heidel. But what can you what can I tell you is just you can basically transport without the nodes being connected, just paying an extra fee. And that changes entirely how you can manage resources in the game. So I've seen like tons of guides based on node management. We're gonna look into that another day because this is the guide for the store uh, uh, storage in the cities. So today I'm gonna focus just on that. But be aware that first you're gonna have to do your Magnus quest line. You go O main and it's called Abyss one, the Magnus. I don't know if I started this on this character, but I've already completed this in one character. Once you complete it once, uh, the storage is available uh, from whole character. You basically can transport from city to city, uh, even if you're playing on a different character where you have not done the quest. That's point number one. Second thing, worth mentioning, right here we have optimization things for every city. This is Calcium, this is Hyrule, this is uh, Velia, uh, this is uh, Altinova, Tarif, Valencia, and many, many others. In Incendar, you can find the CB contribution user optimizer right here. Now I'm gonna show you really quickly how it works. So basically, let's say you are gathering from nodes around here. So you wanna bring stuff inside Heidel. So you're gonna need storage here in Heidel. And based on that, you wanna organize that you have on the right enough storage here to carry all of the things that you gather from nodes. They also added sacks recently and they occupy space. So, okay, let's start by talking about Calcium because Calcium is probably the easiest one to set up. So we can just go for it. So quick, quick mention. Uh, as you can see, if you hover on the houses right here, you see a certain number. So one dash one, two dash two. So the city is divided. We have different section say north east northwest south east southwest something like that the best position for calcium in storage is here in this merchant lane is amazing for storage so it's two we are at this area right here because right just right here from this area i have my residence here to transport uh, uh, basically crops but you can buy storage if you really need it so it's two storage here for eight I have my residence, so I don't I don't get that bonus, but it's fine. So and then you have one and you get three, and then you have two and you get five right here, but then right after you have two and you get eight. So the ratio is really, really good right here in merchant lane. And then right here you get uh with one you get eight eight slots, with one you get another eight slots, with two, sorry. And with th only two more, you get 12 more plots of storage. Now, another good place for Calfion, it's actually outside of Calfion, is in Delta Knight Castle. Uh, right here, Castle 1, you get 5 for 1 CP, and you get 8 for 2 CP. That's also really good. You kind of don't need this node to be connected to have the house purchased. I'm gonna explain that really quickly to make sure you understand what's going on. So we're to, and to show how it works, I'm gonna go here in Eliton, because in Eliton, I don't have the node connected. You, you have Camp Balax here with nice houses right here. I have a lodging here. You see, I purchased this, but I don't have the node uh, contribution invested. I only bought the house and it works for the lodging for Eliton. So same concept works for the houses. So you don't need to uh, invest contribution in the, in the node to have the storage there. So on that note, Calfion has this space that is pretty good. Uh, general sense of the game is basically when you have when you see this section, uh, not always the top house has a benefit in storage. This one, it's 
5 CP for 12 and it's definitely a bad ratio. So most of the time you want to buy only, only the bottom part of the house. This is general for all the cities, but every city has its own system. So it's also really good uh, place right here because one you get three and with uh, two you get five, one you get three. And basically I have my calcium storage pool because I've been playing since a while. So almost all of it is used. The best place to spend points if you have low CP is to store everything in your Draxia uh, right here. Because the elite has like a really cool ratio. Wait, let me go down. You don't need to invest many CPs here. You can buy storage here. And with one CP you get, with two CP you get 12. So that's really good. I bought lodging, but here you can have even more. With three CP you get 12 more. And uh, four CP you get 12. And also you have a quest for more storage here. But basically, let's not di digress. Uh, making this guy, uh, guide especially for the cities that are in the middle of the map because when you're transporting resources you are transporting where you need them basically my main town is Heidel so I have all of my cooking stuff here and uh, this is the best town in the game uh, for uh, distance between NPCs let's say if I if my house is right here there's no other place in the game that I know and I checked every city, I can assure you. If I want to go from my storage container right here to the NPC that sells all of the cooking materials right here, this is the closest place. There's no other closer place in, in the game uh, to buy from the cooking shop and put into the storage stuff. Unless you want to use horses, carry all, everything on your horse, move your horse around. That's all another system of things that you're doing. But that's why I'm here. But you can set up whatever you want. If you want to load your horse with infinite amount of resources and bring it whenever you need it, you do you. Like Heidel storage, there is a really good line right here. Wait, before I go to Heidel, I have one more thing to say about Calfion. Because Calfion has a really good lodging area right here. Because with one, you get two workers. With two points, two workers. And, but with one more point, you get another two. So this line, really, really good for lodging. And um, also right here, it's, I think, another good place for storage. One, three, one, three, two, five. And then you have this one that is good. It's two, five, two, eight, and three, twelve here 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 this one being the best you can check the optimizer based on how much storage you need in the city of course if you need less you don't need to invest that much kind of have this because i send all of my black stuff like all of the whatever like those things are the crystal black sharp black crystal black gem fragments hard black crystal and I used to have logs, I'm slowly moving my logs to Heidel because I'm gathering around Heidel. So I'm just slowly moving everything there. Then you have boss loot eventually right here and some random stuff. Also I used to keep all of the perform. Now I'm starting to like move all of the combat perform here and all of the life skill stuff here. So I'm moving like personally, I'm doing life skill stuff on Heidel, combat stuff on Calfion slash other cities because combat stuff is on you have a lot of things and yeah I really have you have this really good line you want to get everything except for this one 4-1 that is like yeah you still could get I mean this one 4-1 second floor that is like the really good benefit is it's here basically in 4-3 4-4 you like you get one for five and and that also here 3-1 3-2 and 3-3 you get five for one it's also good everything here in Heidel one is amazing for Heidel you have really good lodging if i remember well up here because you get one for one and two with two cp you get four right there and with uh, three cp you get six so basically that's a really good ratio I used to have this setup like this to have here uh, my 
my uh, crafting my cooking utensils right here in this area you can see that in my previous guide i think it was like right here carpentry no 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 refinery i don't remember exactly where it was like right here tool workshop right here i used to make utensils right here and then i removed it because i i am not using them anymore but basically that's also good if i remember what 5 cp12 if you really need some extra but i'm good for now on idle and this is what i took you you always gotta check like the side cities like costa farm i don't have anything but you could buy houses here you see you you have some so if you need some resident slash loading lodging you want to check that so check the guy check the city check how much how much you need in that city and buy accordingly uh lynch farm doesn't have anything i think there is like we can go to velia i think i showcased everything on hydro i don't think there are any other things around here there's one good house right here that you it's a must get toscani farm i think it's linked to balenos so velia and this one gives eight for three cp and uh, 12 for three cp and then you want to go in velia for Belia, you want to buy almost everything because you won't have enough storage. I kept uh, some lodging right here because it's one for two, so it's good ratio. And here is one one. I could like remove eventually or change the lodging, but this is going to be like three for two. So it's different. So it's three for two instead it's three for five. I, I think you can like manage the storage based on what you need but you you kind of almost want everything i didn't bought velia 4 because it's like 3 cp i didn't really see any good benefit from that for me for now and finto farm you don't have anything i don't personally don't have anything log i don't have anything and toscani you want to get this one because it's the best uh bartali i bought the storage here because it's probably a good ratio it's two for five and uh, two for five also right here that's it that's for velia so consider i'm, I'm around uh 400 cp almost uh, so let's say you want to start with the city that you need you don't need a city just don't buy the houses there and lodge in there you start with a different thing so consider that my setup just in idle itself has many workers going it's like one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 worker just on idle. And I freed up space to use some worker note of Velia now that I got the, the fishes. I need to finish the, the fish and the ocean quest. But basically, like having CP available, and I have two residents with two storage containers down. So you, you, you might have more CP and more the way to manage your storage way more just consider that if you have 20 cp available if you don't spend them on the on the storage container around let's say if you walk from here to here to go to the storage instead of buying the container and same thing for calcium for me when i buy strawberries from here to here to go to go from the storage container to the milano bellucci i just like right here and yeah so basically that's it uh, I have a couple of houses on Tarif because I used to drop stuff. Uh, I think one one street one three uh, is nothing like really really relevant here to be honest. Just buy that some if you need it. I I removed entirely. Like it's hard to make a guide without touching on the node management, but it's like node management. It's I would like to make a guide on its own because basically it's like completely different. On how, how i manage the nodes and i, I want to talk about that in another guide after that we can go in altinova altinova storage i only have five four because i'm not doing anything right here i'm not dropping anything i usually go here do all of the combat quest and go and go away I, I don't even get resources from here the only node i have it's here is pistachio and uh, i this is being gathered all the way from idle i i don't think i have even like i need to change here get the free worker set it up so it goes there 
it's gonna be a tiny bit of work but i don't get much from this area altinova area kind of nodes around here there's not much to gather that i'm interested in, in at least for now if there, is, if there was i would invest more uh in four houses and stuff like that you have six one one four three and five four one four three but just because this is really to the side compared to the main location with all of the nodes there's way more stuff here that i am invested into right now if you have way more stuff here you look into altinova and there is also the guide somewhere here the altinova and best cp slots look at this like based on how many slots you need you need 40 slots you go for this one so you purchase this houses you need less you need 37 you buy this stuff you use 12 cp you need 37 you want to use only 11 you go for this setup so basically use what you need and how many workers you want and for some great bazaar i don't think i have anything here only only nodes i don't think i do anything here in shakasu so my storage is empty right here i don't have any workers or lodging because I, have, I didn't have time to manage there and i'm not interested right now and uh, valencia valencia it's a big one to um, to showcase there's a good lodging area right here one one and one two so you can use two cp for two workers uh, down here and one for two and then you have uh, this one that i haven't bought just yet but you can have four workers for three like that's better than a regular ratio and yeah so i'm definitely planning on, on getting this one and removing this one and this one so staying here also there is a good storage place here which is like one cp five storage here so that's also really good and then aside from that you want to follow the guide based on what you need i don't need much storage in valencia because once you complete the quest you if you link the harbor to link the harbor you need to spend a bit you need to spend three cp here and uh, one cp here so it's four cp you have all of these extra slots in the harbor i personally got i used to gather uh, this uh, coconut and palm from here uh, but it wasn't available from uh, harehaza because it doesn't have the the transport feature i don't know why maybe because like uh, uh, an abandoned city or something like that i don't know how to describe it but i don't understand why the arbor has it but Arehaza, Arehaza doesn't so i used to have worker here the gather some and then i changed my worker to start uh, from uh, valencia so i have some space here you in use uh, to gather all of this stuff because valencia has some good cooking nodes around here so pistachio and uh, and the date palm date palm is really good for cooking xp like base 700 for everything that you, you you craft let's say and without touching any further on that that's the storage for valencia that i have you might want to want more depending on how many cpu you have and that's it on grana i only have uh, three dash one that i can upgrade actually to max and it's gonna be like um i don't remember you've read that earlier that's the only one that i have for some extra storage here currently storing this stuff because every time i i come by here there are like stronger mobs i get some pots and, and i go grind that's it there's also the harbor here i don't have anything right now for the feria i mean but i don't know about the storage here i'm sorry you look it up you can probably find you can find it really easily you type the name of the city you type storage and then like bdo name of the city and storage you find a guide like this for every city there is one out there but the main key point i touch what you needed to know so you need to do the magnus so it unlocks the transport feature you need to get the city and look for the side nodes they don't need contribution to be invested to get the storage and um yeah you don't need some stuff like this one completely useless you don't have a storage keeper right here you don't see npc that is the storage keeper that is like the storage keeper icon it doesn't mean that it does mean that the town doesn't have a storage 
I don't have every city in the game, so you might want to look for that. I don't know if there is an, a storage guy here in this island, let's say. So I, I cannot really tell until I explored it. But this game is so big, you want to like look some stuff yourself. yourself. But one thing I want to say, uh, one last thing that I want to say is you can also put two, two, let's say two things. One is you can put your stuff inside stables with horses and they can carry more stuff you don't have enough cp you can do that and the second thing is you can buy some storage from uh, the loyalty icon and it's like monthly locked i usually spend my loyalty on uh, character expansion slots to play the new season but sometimes you could just spend some of the C uh, loyalty here in expansion bundles like let's say i spent some of this on idle and glitch I used I use hydro and glacial a lot be aware that if you have this stuff you maybe want to spend it in cities where you don't have access to storage let's say in Velia you have limited amount of houses so you're, you're bound to have to be locked here so if you want to spend loyalty it's better that you spend loyalty for a city that actually doesn't have access to storage in any way shape or form even trying to buy it or like if you if you are planning on having your main residence here for any reason that I don't know, you maybe want to spend some loyalty increasing the storage because this, the town itself doesn't have much storage uh, here. I use usually another quick mention that it's also really important that that they said you, you need to buy everything here is because when, every time you play a new season for video, when you bring your season character here for the timepiece, do you do the timepiece? Um, uh, from Fugar in Velia right here, uh, you can empty your character inventory in the storage to then do the transfers and you need to empty your character inventory. That's why you need also storage in Velia. You need a lot of storage and you need to be aware of that. That's it. Comprehensive guide about storage. I think it's almost everything that you need to know. Did I check that? Dovan Kroon is expensive. I only bought lodging though because I only use uh, uh, cooking nodes here so i use this one and this one that's it you might use more things you might need a lot you know, houses just check the old five points hold really expensive so if you're planning on staying here that's a really good city to buy storage from loyalty because it doesn't have a, a cheap cp to storage ratio let's say that and in the storage guide i hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts maybe i missed something that is important let's say maybe i missed like a Really cheeky spot, like let's see, maybe I missed, I don't know, just a random node that I don't know, but there is like a cool house, let me know. But most of the thing are here, and yeah, I covered everything. Uh, with my guide from cooking, I'm skyrocketing, I'm really close to 399, and then it's gonna be a bit slower, but I can assure you I'm getting like the CP of one CP per day ratio, and I saw like many life skill YouTubers getting like sh making tons of guys guides of, on gathering and like having the same amount of cp that i have right now and it's kind of weird because i'm they got this CP really really fast almost like speed run those cps so, like, those people are making hundreds of guides daily and then like they tell you how to gather every single resource manually how to get knowledge of every single thing that's that's also amazing but you get energy and knowledge but overall if you want to just set up your workers before you do that that seems like a smarter option to me not that you don't need those guys because you definitely need those guys for for energy but if you need to set up your workers so they start gathering already and so when you need the resources you can process them you maybe wanna uh, set up your cp go put get as many cp as you can as fast as possible basically and the, the only way to do it it's having like um, good storage system in the cities and in the storage guide, goodbye.